Zapier is designed to help you move data from one service to another. Since we can only see new data coming in from a trigger app, we can't access existing data, in most cases. This means mass importing or migrating old and existing data from your trigger app isn't something we usually support. That said, if your trigger app allows you to export your data into an Excel document, like a CSV file, you can use Zapier to help import this information. Zapier supports multiple apps that accept this type of data, like Google Sheets, Excel Online, and a lot more. The main app we recommend is Google Sheets, but if you like another spreadsheet app, use it. To take advantage of this, you need your newly exported data in one master sheet, and then create a brand new sheet with the same format as your master sheet. You could even go as far as to copy the first two rows from your exported data sheet and paste it into your master sheet. If we copy and paste the top two rows, we can even pull the names of the columns as well as an example to use when mapping the actions of this zap. Once you have your sheet set up, you would create a zap like you normally would. Select the app you're using, and the new row trigger, choose the sheets from the trigger options, and then run the trigger test to pull in an example. Then, add your actions, and pass the data from the trigger into the actions in the zap editor. Once that looks great, run the action test to make sure everything is mapped properly and then turn the zap on. Before doing mass imports into this trigger sheet, first move a single row and check the output of the zap in the task history. You can check the destination app too, to ensure everything looks perfect. When working with triggers that connect to a RESTful API, ones that we call polling triggers, Every time we access data to look for new events, we actually get back tens or even hundreds of the most recent results. To help manage this, we have a process called deduplication that we apply to the data that polling triggers return. Simply put, this process lets us keep track of the entries we've already seen, so we only trigger on the new data that's been added since our last polling attempt. If this deduplication process finds that there are more than 100 items we need to process, we'll send you an email and hold these tasks. You'll then need to release the task manually from the task history page to get them to process as normal. So long as you import less than 100 items per batch, you can avoid needing to manually release them. If you need to process the import this way, head to the dashboard page, click on the arrow next to a zap, and then click on run to manually start your zap. You could then repeat the cut and paste and manual run process. Alternatively, you could also cut and paste all of the rows you have at once instead, and then just release them all in a single batch from the task history page. If you find that your workflow requires you adding more than 100 items to a polling trigger on a regular basis, send our support team a message. We'll be happy to see if we can expand that limit for your use case. Also, keep in mind that each successful automated action performed in a zap will use one task from your limit. If you are using multi-step zaps to process your inbound data, first make sure your plan offers enough tasks to handle the import, as each action in that zap will use a single task whenever the zap runs. Finally, if you ever need to export data from Zapier, we have a lot of different methods for you. Our task history page allows you to export any record that exists there. Should you need to export more than 5,000 records, contact the support team for assistance. Per GDPR requirements, we also allow a mass export of the data that exists on your account via the settings page. After you click export, you'll receive an email containing your Zap in a JSON format and task data in a CSV format. Zapier offers you the ability to import data into our system if your source app can export your information. Not only that, but you can export your data from our service as well. Thanks for watching the video, and if you have any more questions, check out our resources below.